What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we're going to be doing the top 10 essential Black Series figures for new collectors, part two. Yeah, you did this as a solo video two years ago now, yeah. in 2020. You showed off 10 figures that were readily available, at least pre-orderable, mm -hmm. or just flat out in stock for retail price or less. So that's pretty much like the stipulations here. Like you said, two years has passed. A lot has changed in the world of mm -hmm. Black Series, but there's still new collectors every single day, so. Yep, and no repeats. Yes, so if you wanna check out the first part, link in the description to check that video out if you never saw it, but we're not repeating any figures that are on that list. There are still quite a few figures on that list that are still in stock, ready yeah. to go two years later, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. But we decided no repeats. If a certain figure on here, you're like, why isn't this figure on here? Check out the other video. Maybe it was a part of that list. Mm -hmm. No honorable mentions this time around though. So before we jump into it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you are new. We always discuss Black Series content here on the channel. Yeah. Reviews, news, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. If this is your first time here. So Justin, let's start it out with number 10. Yep. That is going to be an archive figure for any new collector. Archive is a great way for new collectors like yourselves to get figures that were released a while ago and might have accrued a very high value and they're pretty rare. Not this figure in particular, but it is one of the main cast members, hero mm -hmm. cast member, Princess Leia from A New Hope. Leia's most iconic look. Yeah. Definitely a figure that is essential to any Black Series collection. I mean, you gotta have a new hope, Leia. Yeah. And now she's the best she's ever been with a nice photo reel update. Mm -hmm. And like you said, is part of the archive line. Readily available, actually in stock, ready to go right now. No pre-order necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for most of these, just go on Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, or Dorkside Toys. There's a lot of different avenues. Some of these figures will be pre-order right now, but some of these are actually in stock. So just go on Amazon, Dorkside, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. That's kind of like the normal ones that we use around here. And let's jump into number nine, which is a figure that was on our cheap but awesome Black Series mm -hmm. list. We're talking about Jar Jar. Binks, the deluxe figure that can be yours for less than twenty dollars. If yeah. you have an Ollie's near you, you could have it for <laughs> ten to twelve dollars. Right. One of the best deluxe figures ever to be produced in the Black Series line. One of the best painted figures in the line, yeah. period, as well. Jar Jar is stacked with accessories. You get an awesome energy shield, a spear, a booma, pretty much all you could ask for. Yeah, I would have liked a alternate goofy head. Yeah. He is a little serious looking for Jar Jar right. Binks. That's but his general Jar Jar look. Honestly, though, when you combine the cheap price for a deluxe figure and the fact that Jar Jar is essential for any prequel display. Yeah, we kept that in mind when making this list. It's kind of a nice spread between the different eras of Star Wars. Right. So Jar Jar is a staple of the prequels and it's like, love him or hate him, he better be on your damn shelf. Up next at number eight is Deluxe Cal Kestis. For all you gamers out there. Ooh. Deluxe Cal is amazing, especially for world building. World building kind of rare in the Black Series, but this figure comes with the Jedi Holocron, comes with the Bogling, which is one of the little creatures that actually joins your crew on the Mantis. Mm -hmm. A couple different lightsabers included double bladed and uh, you know the half hilt that gets destroyed with the blue blade as well as the poncho and the hood and everything. It's just a really good figure, definitive Cal. Absolutely, and it frequently goes on sale on GameStop's website. This is a GameStop exclusive figure here mm -hmm. in the United States, but you could frequently catch it on sale. I've seen it go as low as, you know, 25 bucks. Yeah. So if you are patient and catch it on a sale, I mean, Cal is worth full price all day long. Yeah. But on sale even better like you said packed with so many accessories mm -hmm. yeah some people might not like that it's the x-wing orange 
yeah, costume variant. True. But when you consider how much the blue costume Cal is these days, I think having the orange one would be just yeah, all it right. Works. It works. It works. <laughs> and number seven is a clone trooper. Ooh. Going back to the prequel era here, we're talking about Commander Bly. Yeah, he has recently had like a resurgence. He's in stock at a lot of places. I know particularly Big Bad Toy Store, that's what I was checking out earlier, for retail price. And it's one of the best clone troopers that they have released. It's on the Rex body, and it's called the Rex and Bly body, because that's like the two figures that are on that body, yep. which have double jointed elbows that you can actually utilize on a clone trooper, which is always nice. The binos. Yep. It's just a great Revenge of the Sith figure. Soft goods comma mm -hmm. as well. One of the last times we saw a soft goods comma. Yeah. Unfortunately, doesn't have the accurate brown stripe down yeah. the, down the helmet. But ultimately, that really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And if rumors are to be believed, you're going to want to pick this figure up as well because there is going to be an Ala Secura figure. Yeah. In the near future. That's a great point. I wasn't thinking about that, but that is a great point. You're going to want Ala, so you can. Number six is a character that has appeared in Clone Wars, Rebels, The Mandalorian. It's Bo Katan, Lady Bo Katan. I love this figure. It's a brand new sculpt head to toe. It's great details. It has one of the best photo reel applications in the entire line. True. And she's super common because they repacked her in wave 30. So she was in wave 29 and 30. So she's pretty common. She's always on sale. She's always at least at retail, yep. always in stock. She is a fantastic figure though. Mm -hmm. Easily one of the best modern Black Series figures to date when you combine the details and the articulation. Yeah, butterfly joints and everything. And like you said, that photo reel head just looks so accurate to mm -hmm. Katie Sackoff. It's an absolutely wonderful figure and an important one for the collection. And even though it's her Mandalorian look, you can fudge it. You can fudge her if you want to put her in a Clone Wars display or you yeah. want to put her in a... She's a Mando. In a Rebels display, so... Mm -hmm. And then we're moving back to the archive here for our fifth pick. We are talking about the 501st Clone Trooper. Yeah. Hear us out, because it's on the old clone body, I know. But for all you new collectors out there, you may not know that this 501st Clone Trooper was initially only available in an Entertainment Earth exclusive four pack that now goes for like literal hundreds of dollars. Right. So it's very important that you get yourself one of these 501st. They look incredible and with Archive you can get pretty much as many as you want. I've found plenty in the wild but you can also easily pre-order this on something like Big Bad Toy Store. It's just a staple of the prequel era it's on the cover of the battlefront 2 game right the classic one and i just when i think of revenge of the sith it's the 501st clone trooper that comes to mind you're absolutely right and this one is definitely a twofer yeah you gotta have two have them flanking anakin Ooh, get more than one because if they don't do like some sort of new 501st clone trooper right even this archive will probably end up being pretty expensive Number four, we have another character that has kind of appeared in multiple different Star Wars media shows. Initially in The Mandalorian, it's Fennec Shand. Ooh. She's also appeared in The Book of Boba Fett, which is actually the packaging that she's in, is Book of Boba Fett packaging. She's also been in The Bad Batch. Fantastic figure. Another example of an all-new sculpt head to toe. This figure, they knocked it out of the park. And if you are a Mandalorian fan or Book of Boba Fett, this is a perfect option for you. Yeah, she has fantastic sculpted details, great photo reel, likeness to the actress Ming-Na Wen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look at the TVC version, it comes with a few more accessories, but you get what you need here with Fennec. Yeah. And, and the hard plastic actually makes for a much better like textured pattern look that she has on the costume, so it's actually a bit more accurate as well. It's like a weird instance where hard plastic actually beat out soft goods. Kinda odd, but it's true. Yeah, and plus it really doesn't inhibit her articulation at all either. Mm -hmm. 
thankfully due to the design. So mm -hmm. she also has just a slight amount of weathering on her helmet, which mm -hmm. is just a minor detail I appreciate just nice. due to the era that we're in where a lot of figures don't have any weathering on mm -hmm. them. I can see that. And keeping up with some modern Mando goodness, number three is the Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano. Yep. Another character, Clone Wars, Rebels, across the Mandalorian, the board. Book of Boba Fett now. This is obviously her look from the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett. Spoilers, I suppose. But hey. You've had plenty of time. Yeah. This figure is another brand new head to toe sculpt. And the articulation is off the charts. Yep. It's an incredible figure and probably one of the best photo reel applications. Might even be the best. Drop a comment. True. And let me know which one you think is better than Ahsoka from The Mandalorian. We both recently picked up this figure and it's just, oof. Yeah. She's hitting stores right now, but is also widely available for pre-order as well. So if you can't find her in store, definitely slap a pre-order down because you're gonna want this figure. It's got some fantastic engineering as well. The cleverly hidden butterfly yeah. joints. It's just, if you appreciate action figures, she just looks so good. Mm -hmm pretty much all of the articulation is basically hidden so it kind of looks like you have a tiny little rosario dawson ahsoka tano in your hand exactly and then you just slap ray's poncho on her yeah and you got Island a journey you yeah. got a pretty nice uh definitive ahsoka here. i might have to do that i might have to do that on the original list, Nate, you included the Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do a loophole. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to say Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper for our number two pick. Because the regular Stormtrooper has kind of been hard to find over the years, which is so unfortunate. Hasbro, a regular Stormtrooper, a regular Clone Trooper should never be hard to find. No army builder really should be hard to find. Right. And the regular Stormtrooper was going in and out. I know on Big Bad and Dorkside, it's sold out on both now. But now in Wave 31, we have the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper that has the backpack and the orange pauldron. But the reason why I wanted to include this is because you can just leave out the backpack and take the pauldron off. And that can be <laughs> a, a way for you to still have a classic Stormtrooper from the original trilogy. Absolutely. And this is a loophole I'm going to allow all day, every day. <laughs> so yeah, the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper is just absolutely fantastic. And it seems like they did fix the QC issues with a lot of helmet warping. Yeah. I know I've got two Jetta Patrol Stormtroopers. They're both perfect. Yeah, I as well. I have two. And again, with the customization, I just left the backpack off of one and now I just have a Stormtrooper with an orange pauldron. But if you really wanted to, Pop the head off, take the pauldron off, and you that's a perfect way for you to get just a 2020 Stormtrooper, which is one of the best trooper sculpts in the line. Might even be the best trooper sculpt. It's definitely up there. And yeah, you get options with this figure. If you're a fan of Rogue One, you got Rogue One mm -hmm. action. You need a commander for your army of 2020 Stormtroopers? Hey, take that backpack off. Yep. The Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper is a figure you don't want to miss. This one is also available for pre-order and fluctuates in and out of stock yeah. across the board mm -hmm. on all the different toy retailers. Yeah, check Hasbro Pulse as well. They do some periodic like restocks. That's how I got a lot of Wave 31, which is like Fennec Shan, Jetta Patrol, Stormtrooper is in there. It might even be in stock on Hasbro Pulse. Again, for all of these, check each avenue here check mm -hmm. amazon big bad toy store dorkside entertainment earth hasbro pulse check all of those and then make the best decision true cross reference those prices mm -hmm. and number one justin <laughs> is an absolute banger mm -hmm. a figure that has always fetched a high price yep and thankfully is coming back very soon in the archive line we are, of course, talking about the main villain of all nine Star Wars movies, Emperor I suppose that's Palpatine. True. I suppose that's true. Yeah, it's mainly original trilogy. Obviously, it's a Return of the Jedi figure. And if you don't have an Emperor Palpatine, it's like, this is your chance. Yep. 
pre-order this Palpatine. It's even the better Palpatine than the older Blue Line Black Series release. Has the soft goods and it can actually sit in a throne if you have a throne if you want a custom one because, you know, that Amazon one. Yeah, don't, especially with the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary right around the corner, don't don't buy the Emperor with the throne. Right. Because you never know. You never know. They might re-release it next year. And then you're going to feel kind of silly when you drop 200 bucks on that. And now it's available again for 60. Yeah. I'd probably imagine is what it will cost. Right. In but a nice Kenner Return of the Jedi box. Or not. Or not. But again, if you don't have an Emperor and it's like you need one, this is obvious. So if you're a new collector, this is your chance. Because unfortunately, the main characters aren't always the most common characters in yep. this action figure line so if you're new to collecting and you don't have an emperor pre-order this archive emperor palpatine please because i don't want to see your comments a year two years from now oh, i missed it yeah so there you go there were 10 essential black series figures for new collectors if you are a seasoned collector watching our video anyway drop a comment down below with some other figures that you feel are essential. Yeah, readily available. We, of course, love sort of, you know, building on the idea and the topic, especially for new collectors, because mm -hmm. there's really not a whole lot of videos out there yeah. for people who are newer to the hobby to kind of get their bearings straight. So hopefully this helped you out with making some decisions about what figures to add to your collection and maybe where to get them. Yeah. And again, check out the original part one version of this video because there were no repeats. And a lot of those figures, like you were saying at the beginning, are still like kind of readily available. Like the Empire Strikes Back, Vader, and Hoth Rebel Trooper. Yep. Like, definitely check out that video if you're a new collector as well. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Ring that bell for notifications as well. We are mainly a Black Series channel, like I said at the beginning of the video. We do reviews, news, topic discussions. Live streams. Live streams, top tens, all that good stuff. So if this is your first time here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you are a fan of the Black Series. And if you would like to support us in a more direct way for 99 cents a month, we do offer a channel membership where you get a custom clone trooper name badge that changes based on how long you've been a member of the Basement Dweller Army. And you also have access to custom emojis that you can use on our videos and in our live streams, which are every Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And no worries if you can't support us in that way, simply liking, subscribing, all that good stuff is greatly appreciated. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.